quick video on uh, hopefully to help some new motherfuckers how to get some cars off their bed without uh, being reckless, destroying their equipment, uh, and just looking full out retarded. This is an impound, police impound. I put skis under it because the wheels were uh, an opener and so one wheel's turn. Kept strength that way, put ski under there. But when I go to unload it, I put some lubricant, pick your poison. I use diesel additive. It washes off, it evaporates, and uh, when you go to throw it down, throw it in front of the tire, so it soaks underneath the tire, kind of like a penetrating oil. Do it with the bed kind of at an angle, so it has time to soak back. You got all your tie downs off. Tilt your bed back at a steep load angle. Be a little bit closer than you normally are to unload. What the fuck? This thing's supposed to be all wheel drive. Didn't roll in front. Put the skis right there. See, as that additive runs down, that lubricant is going to allow the whole thing to roll off with a lot more ease. Move these straps all the way. Roll it through the rear tires are just fucking on the edge. A little bit more. And I run the bed down. On the heavy rig, I typically don't run my bed out too far. Run your bed back. That rear tire's on the end of the... So that rear tire's sitting on the ground and uh, works perfect when the static side that doesn't roll hits the ground first or if it's all locked up. But if that end's locked up, it's a little bit different. I'll worry about that another time. Two ways to get the bed out from underneath of it. Uh, typically not worried about hurting this piece of shit car, so I'll take my bridle off. I don't care if it rolls into another car. I take the bridle off. Uh, this truck has a big enough bed, and it's my truck, so I'm not worried about hurting it. It's my truck. I don't have to answer to anybody. I'll usually walk the bed out from underneath of it. That's how I'm going to do it. Or you can pull out from underneath of it. Uh, either or. Going to reach across on the other side since it's off-centered. Nice solid uh, winch point that won't come undone. Very handy. One of these mag wheel straps around the center of the third member. With a good self latching hook, won't come undone. Run the bed forward. Lift the bed up. Lift the truck off the ground. Run the bed out from underneath the truck and underneath the load. Some people don't like to uh, walk the bed out with a smaller aluminum carrier. I'd be concerned about hurting it. But with this truck, it has a big enough Giordan carrier. It doesn't really bother it. I have an older Century Series 10. I've had that truck probably since 2008. And it's no three. I've been doing the same thing, no damage to it. Same method. What you were thinking you'd probably do to one of these carriers is shake a load off. You know, sometimes you gotta shake them to get it started. But there's no real reason to shake them completely off the bed. Two things can happen while you're shaking them off. The park thing can break because you're putting that shock load on there. Putting a lot of strain on that ram that runs the bed back and forth. And uh, if I was worried about it rolling, I had to left my bridle on to use your foot. Oh, she's rolling. Watch that. Just like that, got those skis out. I 
Not like this is a Tesla. This is a piece of shit rig that was dumped on the side of the highway. Ah, oh, fucking been through. I ain't been her. Anyhow, hopefully that helped. Don't like it, do it a different way.